Hey everyone, hope all is well. Look on the screen. Um, hope all is well on the screen. So yesterday I did a video about another teenage girl who was killed while working, which is kind of something that Dussies don't like to do. Well, she's been identified. We had a name yesterday, so now we have a face, R.I.P. She was the one that was uh, murdered. And I want you to take a look um, at the suspect. They have a camera, not the best view. Uh, all I know is it's a Dusty. I don't know if it's a, a, a Dusty dipped in brown, Latino, white Dusty. Uh, but it is truly a an inferior man. Shot the girl in the stomach. So maybe if he would have maybe do the right thing like she did, get a job, you wouldn't have to rob. So again, check it out. This guy is in tactical gear. Hell, it could be Dusty Dan. You know, I, I don't know. But check it out. Fair use. Just an update. Manhunt is underway for the gunman who killed a 19-year-old cashier at a Burger King in East Harlem. Police say Crystal Bayron Nieves was shot in the stomach early yesterday morning during an armed robbery mm. at a Burger King on East 116th Street. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Police say the restaurant manager and another person were also attacked during the robbery. The suspect was last seen running westbound on East 116th Street. Do you know who this person is? Do you have any information? Please call Constoppers 1 800 577 tips. Now he has on this gear. Unless he kept this gear on at all times, um, they may need to go back and check out the videotape. A commenter stated yesterday in the comment section how they should maybe go back and see if there were any disgr disgruntled customers that may have come through, which happens uh, quite often in fast foods. And maybe that person came back. That is something truly to consider. Or well, in this case here, uh, they may want to just look through cameras all around and see what, you know, where he may have traveled. Uh, hopefully at some point he took the mask off, but maybe he didn't. Either way, trust and believe, so unless he just lives alone, a neighbor, especially a family member, Mammy, be it Will's mock son, I just can't turn around like that. I, I love, I love, you know, under the floorboards, Billy, and you know, these things do happen. Her ass, it could be Will, you know, it could be the one with the ch uh, church chicken uh, church hat on her head. It could be anybody. It could be old Mijo, old Mijo, and you do that, you know, it could be anyone. But with that outfit on, it's on the news. Someone, it's not like it's an everyday outfit. Someone would more than likely have to recognize it could be a wannabe Rambo, wannabe cop. I mean, again, check out the outfit. So my point is, someone would have to recognize this fool going out the house like that. And it is sad to say that someone will know this and say nothing. And he can change clothes, and they'll have dinner, take him in, and go on about his day. While in the meantime, this young girl's life been snuffed out. Her family has to plan a funeral. So welcome to today's world where women are realizing they cannot depend on men all across the globe and they've got that hustle, that energy, and that drive and these dust buckets that come in all races, all colors, all sizes, all social economic levels. These dust buckets are attacking women. Why? Because they are low performing men. They are inferior men. All they can build, the only thing they can build is a field of dust and there's no value in it. All they can build is little they old low class poverty D disease written seed and implant it in some poor woman that don't have any self esteem. They can't build, but they know how to kill. I'm out.